Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and well, I made a switch. I went from Manjaro XFCE, which I've been running for about three weeks, and switched over to Manjaro KDE. And uh, from the last video I did with Manjaro, many of you popped in and said, hey, you know, check out the KDE version, and you expressed how much you loved it. And through some of the polls and things too, I was getting a lot of feedback uh, on the popularity of the KDE edition of Manjaro. And of course, being a Plasma by KDE fan, I uh, decided to make the switch. Now, I didn't switch over because I had an issue with the XFCE edition, or the, I'm going to call it the default or proper edition. Had no issues whatsoever. In fact, there was nothing about the operating system uh, at all that made me say, hmm, maybe I need to check out something else. I, I did not have update issues, did not have hardware issues. Uh, the system was running very smooth and fast. It's just that with a lot of feedback from you, the viewer, and you know, again, I'm a huge KDE fan, I just decided to make the switch. So I installed a fresh version last night. And uh, so, you know, high marks to the XFCE edition. I would recommend this now after my three-week run here. I would recommend this really to anyone. I would recommend it to you if you have you know older hardware. I would recommend it to you if you were new to Linux, and uh, or maybe you're wanting to upgrade you know, upgrade someone in your family to Linux. And yes, I said upgrade because um, I think uh, this is a stable enough, uh, well thought out and put together enough operating system to recommend across the board. So, um, all right, with that said, I was a pin, and this this is gonna be some of the rambling, so uh, maybe I'll title this video Ramblings About Manjaro, or Ramblings About Manjaro KDE. So, being a big fan of KDE, I've been a little disappointed here with this install. Now, I haven't changed a lot. I've, um, I've updated a few things, but all right, let me go ahead and jump over and, and just talk for a minute about some of the issues so one of the issues that I have had, and this is nothing major, it's just uh, aggravating, is with Wi-Fi. So at first boot, or cold boot from a cold boot, what will happen is the Wi-Fi tries to connect too soon. You'll go through a disconnect uh, round, and then it'll kind of circle back through and try to reconnect. Sometimes that's successful, sometimes it's not. Typically uh, here, and this is just again over the past day, I guess day, uh, every time I boot, it's a cycle, and you know eventually by the third try, it will connect. So I'm going to look into that. That's again, it's aggravating, but it's not something that would be a total deal deal breaker. Didn't have that at all on the XFCE version. The other thing I want to talk about is the boot up time. And uh, from cold boot, I and don't have numbers on this. I didn't put a stopwatch to uh, XFCE or the KDE version, but the uh, the boot time in the KDE version seems significantly slower, maybe 50% slower than the XFCE version. I'm not going to blame that on KDE. Um, I just there's a difference there. Maybe I need to go back and reinstall. Um, and, and time it before I go running my mouth about the difference in speed between the two. I'm just coming from you know three weeks of running XFCE over to this, and and the very first thing I thought at, at cold boot was, man, this seems like it's taking a lot longer. And then thirdly, I had to turn off. Surprisingly, had to turn off quite a few of the effects. And on this system, I didn't expect to have to do that. Uh, let me go over here to Info Center. Let's go ahead and give you this rundown. So this is KDE Plasma version 5.13.3 with framework 5.48 and QT version 5.11. You'll notice here too, and I'll talk about the kernel here in just a minute, I'm running 4.17.9. Um, this is an AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 1400 quad core processor with 8 gigs of RAM. You know, it's not a beast of a system, but I shouldn't have to turn off the number of effects that I turned off to get that snappy feel. It just, it was a little laggy in places. 
And then another kind of strange issue too I've experienced, and that's with VLC. And I didn't have the issue with the XFCE version, where if you play a video one time, close it out, and then come back and try to launch again into VLC, it will spin like it's going to do something, and then it never does. And I've actually had to reboot to be able to go back in and get that to, to actually play again. So that's kind of strange. Uh, let me jump over here and we'll go into system settings. And I'll just show you here. We went to um, desktop behavior under desktop effects. And so I turned off blur. I turned off fade. I turned off translucency. Maybe that was it. Maybe only maybe I only turned off three. But again, it just and it didn't make a difference. It's snappier now, but I, I just laggy enough really that I thought, okay, what's going on here? And that's when that led to and now you know why this is a ramble. I'm all over the place here. Let's go to Manjaro Settings Manager. That's when I started to mess around with the kernel a little bit just to see what effect that may be. So you start out here uh, with the LTS 14.4.57. So when you install this KDE version, that's what you'll be on. And then I moved from that to 4.16.18 real time. Um, and then today, right before the video here, I jumped up to 417 just to see if that would make any differences, you know, in, in anything. And it, and it really didn't, but it um, seems to be running fine. So right now, if I were to say from the standpoint of speed and, you know, a system that just everything boots up and just works, the XFCE edition, as much as it might pain me to say that, the XFCE edition, and I like them both, but, you know, be a, sometimes it's a toss-up between XFCE and KDE for me personally, uh, but I have to give the nod to the XFCE version because of some of the, you know, these issues. Now, none of this would be a deal-breaker as far as being able to run the system. The theming's consistent. There's no doubt whether you're running the XFCE version or... The KDE version, as we see here, because they did a very nice job of making everything consistent. In fact, we'll just take a quick look at, uh, at the two here. So we'll show the XFCE menu and desktop. And then we'll show the KDE menu and desktop, as you see here. So the theming is very consistent. And one of the things I expected that I would do as soon as I launched in would be to change this green theme within KDE because there's a million different ways that you can set up KDE. But, you know, it's just consistent through. It's high quality as far as the icons are concerned, very professional looking. And it's more of a teal color. And I thought, you know what, the theming is really good. And so it's something that I can live with there. So I'm going to give this a little time, I think, to see what happens and how stable this is. And beyond that, we'll give this a little time. Again, this is not a review. Just wanted to ramble about a couple of things since I've installed these kind of back-to-back. -back. So, well, as always, thanks for watching, and we will check you later.